Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and it is the holiday season here, so we have Thanksgiving coming up um, this next week. Uh, we have Christmas and Hanukkah and some other holidays as well for different religions and different countries and groups that are all coming up here um, at the end of November and through December here. So I am going to give you guys a holiday challenge. I'm going to call it the Christmas Quant Challenge, um, and it's going to be something a little bit different. So as the seasons come, this is my absolute favorite time of the year. I love snow. Um, I think one of the reasons I love the holidays so much, um, besides a lot of the family and friends and gatherings, is really that it feels like the world slows down, right? Especially like in school, you always got, you know, Christmas break or holiday break. And then in the working professional world, uh, if anyone knows, kind of the finance world shuts down a lot because your vendors or, you know, people on vacation, um, teams internally, there's people that are on vacation and not on vacation. And it's like you're operating with half the staff that you would. And so a lot of these kind of companies kind of slow way down here towards the end of the year. And so for me, I love this time of the year because typically it's when I catch up on work. Um, more specifically, it's the time of year when I can sit and read a little bit more. This year is not going to be as fun. Um, I am just behind on way too many projects, uh, both personally uh, with the YouTube channel uh, and rankings and everything and at work on its own. But I'm gonna give you guys a challenge quickly here. I want you guys to go out and find a book. Uh, I'll give you guys a few different options here to make it free as well. Um, if you're in school, grad school, just find a book maybe that you have for classes or something. Um, often the curriculum will say, hey, it's gonna cover these chapters. Pick a chapter you are not going to cover for school. Um, maybe if you have, you know, if you look back here, I have a bunch of books. Maybe you have a book just sitting around that you purchased. Um, and maybe I'll do a video on books I haven't read for the year that I bought. Uh, but pick a book, pick something and just read it for fun, okay? Don't read it for any other reason. You don't need to know the information. Um, you don't need to make a project out of the information. You don't need to do homework on the information. Just pick something to read that is quantitative finance, that is something that's interesting or different or unique. Um, go ahead and read it. Um, and then make a post on LinkedIn and tag me and say, you know, Christmas quant challenge and then do at Dimitri Bianco. Tag me in there. Um, make a little post and say, I read this book and this chapter. we just read one chapter, guys. Just make it short and simple. Um, and then just share what you learned about it. I am going to this as well. Um, I'm going to read uh, quantitative risk management here. Chapter 17, which is dynamic portfolio credit risk models and counterparty risk. Oddly enough, I hardly ever read credit risk, even though I work heavily in this space and this is kind of my specialty, what I do. Uh, I'm gonna read this, something different, something unique. Again, this book in general, I feel is a little bit more markety driven, like market risk. Um, it's gonna be bigger, like counterparty business risk. I work on the consumer risk side. I'm gonna read something different, read something new. If you don't have a book on hand that you want to read, I will recommend that you go to my website, which is fancyquantnation.com. I'll link it in the, the description of the video here as well. And if you go to the website and then you click on education and a little pop down will come down, you have books free and frequently asked questions, hit free. And if you go to this page, uh, these are the books that I think are good quality, rigorous, interesting books. Um, and there's going to be an introduction to statistical learning. There's going to be a book on deep learning. Those two are free books that are available online find an interesting chapter to read and just read a chapter for fun. Um, another approach would be just find a paper online, like you know Google quant finance topics, find some sort of paper and do that. But do the post afterwards, explain what you read, give like a little just summary. It doesn't need to be like this whole description and you teaching. Just say like, hey, I read this book, I read this chapter. Uh, and these are some of the kind of interesting things I found in the chapter. And then tag me in that as the Christmas quant challenge at Dimitri Bianco. Um, I think this will be a fun exercise because hopefully you guys will slow down. I know if you're in school, uh, it's hard. You're going, 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 and then all of a sudden you're on break. I want you guys just to like do something fun and interesting that is n like quant finance related, um, but is not actually work. You don't need to get anything out of it. So do that. You will probably be very surprised at how many people like and comment on your LinkedIn, which will help network and boost um, kind of your social media presence on LinkedIn. 
Why this is important is because you will actually probably find other people that have similar interests that might connect with you. Uh, maybe an employer is doing some sort of project on that and they're interested and they might reach out to you. Um, it is a win-win. If you do tag me, as I mentioned as well, it will help drive you more traffic and it helps drive me more traffic um, because it kind of brings the quant community together, which is what we've really been working on here. So anyways, if you guys wanna hear a video on the books I have not read, post in the comments below that you want that. I don't know if you guys would be interested or not, but I've purchased quite a few books this year. And again, I just haven't had time to read them all. Um, I'm stacking them up and I'm like really excited and I just don't have a lot of time. So maybe I'll try to read a few of them and do some book reviews um, over this next month or two and then post them next year. Um, but if you guys want a video in the next week or two on just like a stack of interesting books that I have that I'm dying to read, but I just haven't had time to read, uh, let me know in the comments as well. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.